Loading the cats is quite a challenge because Olive, he weighs about almost 8 kilograms. And even my seedlings are coming for an Easter break. It will take me about three hours to get home to Austria. This will give me plenty of time to listen to all my playlists I have and I love Hania Rani for example. left side below we see a lake Zürich. And 
and just behind those mountains ahead of us is Austria. This lake is called a Valensee. Did you know that there's an entire country between Austria and uh, Switzerland squeezed in? It's uh, Fürstentum Liechtenstein. It exists of 11 villages, you can see it on the right hand side. It says, I had to look it up myself, it's the sixth smallest country in the world. Now here I'm crossing the natural border which is the river Rhine between Switzerland and Austria and this is the Austrian border here you can see. Yeah, my mind. I have
Here we've got Olive. He's uh, exhausted from his breakfast, so he's chilling, not quite chilling because he's enjoying the heat coming up from the radiators here. <laughs> it's his favorite spot here. I just want to explain to you, these mountains are Swiss mountains, they're on Swiss territory. Um, it's basically a 10 minutes drive to the River Rhine, which is our natural border. I'm just assuming that these are the only tomato seedlings traveling about 300 kilometers to have an Easter vacation. <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> I took them out of the sun, of the direct sun, so I put them on the chair. Uh, but the sun has gone now, so I must not forget to take them inside uh, at the right time before it's getting too cold.
and here we are looking at Austrian mountains. I believe on the right hand side there is a, a peak that belongs to the Fürstentum Liechtenstein though. 